meningitis, you can remember it affects the meninges and itis for inflammation. It's inflammation of the meninges. Those are the membranes that cover the spinal cord and the brain. Also, what you'll find on assessment, and it needs to be done by a lumbar puncture, particularly with bacterial meningitis, is that the CSF will be cloudy. You'll have an increase in white blood cells and a decrease in blood glucose. Also, for a lumbar puncture, these procedures are sterile, so you need to make sure that everything is prepared properly and everything stays sterile during the procedure. Positioning is very important. Your patient may be on their side in kind of a curled up position, or they may be leaned over their bedside table, just kind of depending. You need to make sure that you do neuro checks and check for bleeding, because where that lumbar puncture was done, one would make sure that there wasn't any damage done to the spinal cord and the nerves surrounding that area. 